Hey folks, Dan Furrier here with your market update for March 11th, 2024. Last week, basically at the beginning of the week, I said, hold on folks, wait, rates will get down into the high sixes. What did they do? Well, right now they're at 6.85, a reduction of about almost a quarter of a percent within the last week. So what's going on? What's going on behind the scenes? What's going on with the Federal Reserve? That's what we're gonna monitor because t this week is a huge data week. And then next week, the Federal Reserve is gonna be meeting. So our goal here is trying to figure out from the data we're getting this week, what the heck's the Federal Reserve gonna do next week? So without further ado, let's get to it. These are the top six products people use when they're buying their first house. These are not my rates. These aren't any individual bank's rates. What happens is mortgage new News Daily right there at the top. They survey lenders all over the country and they ask them these five questions. And the reason why I do this is I have to buy law. Okay. So the five questions are, if you're, if you have a borrower looking to buy their first house, it's a single family home and it's going to be their primary residency. You guys might say that's yours, but there's a big difference in this probably than what you're looking at. These people have a 780 credit score and they're putting down 25%. That's probably not you. So if that's not you, um, reach out to me at the end of this. I'm going to give you all my information at the end of this video for you to reach out to me. If that is your criteria, then that's most likely what your rates are going to be. So let's get to the data that we're going to uh, look at this week to figure out what the heck the Federal Reserve is going to do. Main reason for this is the Federal Reserve is meeting in nine days and three hours. So let's take a deep dive into this. Federal Reserve was created for two reasons and two reasons only basically is right through here. The Federal Reserve's dual mandate is to achieve maximum employment and keep prices stable. So you understand the maximum employment, they want as many people working as they can. Well, normally, um, but price stability, what is that? Well, it's a, AKA inflation. So let's drive down, let's go over to the economic calendar to see what data they'll be looking at this week because it is full of the data that the Federal Reserve is looking at. So we go through here on Tuesday, we have CPI. On Wednesday, we have the 30-year bond auction, which isn't really that detailed for you. Wednesday um, or Thursday, we have core retail sales, initial jobless claims, so that's the jobs piece, and the producer price index. So what this is, is the CPI. What is the CPI? Well, that's inflation for me and you, consumers. PPI is producer inflation, okay? So that's what we're gonna look at all this week is consumer inflation, producer inflation, and the jobs report, or in this case, where is it? The initial jobless claims, okay? So what's expected? Well, the core CPI, what core means is they're, they're stripping out. Anytime you see core in front of maybe CPI, PPI, anything like that, it means they're extracting out some data that's really volatile. In this case, what they extract out is food and energy. Why? Well, heck, last week on my way to work, gas was 3.30. On my way home, it was 3.85. So it went up 50 cents a gallon just in the time frame I was at work. That's why they strip out food and energy because it's hugely volatile. So this is the data we have coming out this week, okay? So again, Federal Reserve is meeting in nine days and three hours. What are they expected to do? Well, the Federal, uh, Federal Reserve controls one rate. It's called the Federal Funds Rate. Currently, it's at 5.25. So let's see, let's just see what's expected of it um, at the next meeting. So let's get over to this. I'll pull my head out of here. So at the next meeting, what is expected? Well, there's a 97% percent chance they're going to do what? Let's see. Oh, they're going to keep rates the same. You can see that current federal funds rate right now is 5.25 to five and a half. There's only a 3% chance they're going to cut, but let's look at the probability of what they're going to do at the next meeting, maybe May and June. So we go out to this piece of it. So now there's an 80% chance, 97% chance in March, they're going to do nothing because the federal reserve rate is five and a quarter, five and a half. Then in May, this just clicked over to 80%. So most likely they're not going to do anything in May. So what does that mean? Well, that means June, there is now over a 50% chance that they're going to cut. So the expectations are for the next 60 days or so, rates are going to may, remain the same at the Fed level, and then they're going to start to cut. And then that's when you're going to see kind of everything start to pivot from there. So some of the big information we have right now is Federal Chairman Powell came out last week and says, we're not far away from cutting rates. And that kind of matches what this uh, calendar is showing us right through here. So again, folks, there's no news out today, but the, the rest of the week is just filled, just filled with information that uh, the Federal Reserve is going to monitor. So based on that, what in the world's going on with, with mortgage rates? Because that's the only thing I can really track here because I can't really figure out what's going on with home prices. The country's too big and there's way too 
too many moving parts with this because you have some areas like Detroit. Go figure. Detroit is one of the biggest areas in the country right now appreciating. Then you have some areas like Southern California and Arizona. They're kind of coming off the cliff right now. They're not, they're not plummeting in value, but they're, they're basically not really doing anything. They are ticking down just a little bit. So you have huge dynamics through there. So right now, what you're seeing right through here is the MBS market. Why do we watch the, what is, what not, you might even say, what in the heck is the MBS market? What is it? Well, it's a mortgage bond that trades on Wall Street. Why do you know, or why should you follow this? Because it, it, it basically is how mortgage rates are created. The yield on this thing is the biggest por portion of your mortgage rate not the 10-year treasury. It's not anything else over through here or anything else. It is the MBS mortgage bond. Okay. So how this works right through here, all you need to do is look it up. Uh, try to find a live ticker if you can. If not, just visit my channel every morning so you can figure this out. But what you, what you want to focus in on is right here. This is the price of the bond. So all you need to know is this piece here. If the price of the bond is going down, like in this case, look, it just kind of cratered right through here for some reason. But if the price of the bond is going down, it means rates are going up. Well, let's go over here and look at a, maybe a five day fork or five day chart of what's going on. We we're down here and we rallied up. So again, as the price of the bond goes up, mortgage rates go down. Last week, we were about a seven and a quarter rate on the 30 year fixed. Now we're about 6.8. So you can see how that correlates with that. So if you're out there and you're like, Dan, what do I do if I don't have a 780 credit score, not putting down 25%? Or what do I do if I just have questions to see if, if I could qualify? Well, I, I have a solution for you. Go to the rateupdate.com. Here's our website. Okay, there's two big things we want you guys to understand when you get to this site. If you've already locked in with a mortgage uh, company, you're stuck, okay? And let's say you locked last week before all these things started and you locked in at a rate at maybe seven and a quarter. Now rates might be 6.875. So what can you do? Well, you can call that current lender that you have, but they're probably gonna say, sorry, you're locked. So what do you need to do? Well, reach out to us. And I created a tab right there at the top. It says loan estimate. I need you to upload your loan estimate into there. Let's see. Let's just see if we can get you a lower rate, maybe lower fees. And what's happening in most cases, we're getting people lower rate and lower fees. So check out that function. But if you're out there and you're like, Dan, I really need some help looking to buy my first house. Just don't know what to do. Looking to buy maybe my first investment property. I'm even cr trying to kick the tires to see, is it prudent to refinance at this time? What do you need to do? Well, click the apply now button up there. That's the first thing you should do. If you don't really like going through systems like this, I don't. Um, so I'd like to call in or email people saying, hey, I really don't wanna go through that whole process of applying for a loan. So do you have an option? Hey, yeah, you do. You can scroll down to the bottom past all these blogs and mortgage calculators and everything else. And you're gonna see our 800 number as well as my email address. And there they are. You can give us a call at 844-775-LOAN. You can even email me directly at dan at the rateupdate.com. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you're finding value in my channel. If there's some other things you want me to take a deep dive into, please mention those down below. I'd be more than happy to do those. But otherwise, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do right down below there. And if you're feeling bad for me right now because I have bags under my eyes, you can actually buy me a coffee at the bottom of the description down below. I don't sell classes. I don't sell, you know, marketing stuff. I just, how you can show your appreciation is just buy me a cup of coffee down there. It costs you a couple bucks. That's it. Otherwise, I hope that you reach out to us if you're looking to buy a house in 2024. So thanks so much for watching, guys. God bless. Have a great day. I'll see you here tomorrow. Bye-bye.